Hi there Scorpio, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my belated April report for you, so rather than not do it, I'm going to give you an overview. Okay, so it's a powerful connection you have with someone can get the green light this month and further develop into something fabulous, okay? So that's the good news. Now the full moon energy in your sign at the end of the month can really make you feel alive. It's like a time to sort of reorganize, refocus, clean out, especially as um, especially on the scene as the sun enters your love zone on the 20th. So it can also present challenges that can push you out of your love comfort zone. So there seems to be a lot going on around romance this month. Of course, that's not all that's happening, but you know, it, there's excitement, passion, romance, um, and an opportunity for you to stretch yourself and really sort of think about, wow, this is like fantastic and exciting on one sense, but on the other sense, it can be a little bit um, awkward, uncomfortable, and that's when you're moving out of your comfort zone, and which is not something that scares you, Scorpio, because uh, ruler of the eighth house and with co-rulers co being Pluto and Mars then guess what you take a deep breath and a move out of your comfort zone and that's how you progress and that's how you move forward now um, if you're already in a relationship then this represents a time when you can reevaluate tweak like what's going on get back to you know how you were when you first met um, you can never go totally back because relationships develop and move forward but you know just to realign yourself with the person that you are with okay so you want to be prepared to give more of yourself and open up to what comes next all right, so it's not a competition of who does what. Sometimes it's just a matter of one person starting the ball rolling, and sometimes that person can be you. You can do it better. So try not to, even though it is always good to keep relationships, some um, equality or evenness, <coughs> excuse me, in it. It's really some people are just better at initiating, okay? So keep that in mind. Uh, and even if it does mean that you're stepping out of your safety zone, do it anyway. So there's a new start or progress with business as well. So be prepared not to get involved in a power struggle because there's lots of intense energy this month and the intense energy really makes you feel alive. There's a lot of excitement, but there can be this power a struggle that's going on as well so you want to be strategic and keep things in control and sometimes Scorpio um, be aware that when you are silent um, let someone else do the talking that's when you can literally find out more information all right okay let's have a look at the individual um, aspects and transits and see how what's happening there so at the end of March, Venus moved into your love zone, okay, so this is like all this love, it's spring equinox as well, so it's new adventures, new possibilities, um, you would be able to work with people more, um, but as I said, there's like, there's this intenseness that goes on as well, and you know, as a Scorpio, you need that sort of little bit of in tenseness if things were too smooth sailing all the time um, it could perhaps get a, a little bit sort of boring Venus will try and Saturn on the seventh so this is beautiful interaction it does open the doorway for you to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversations with someone and build that deeper um, you know that deeper connection however keep in mind that mercury is still retrograde until the 15th on that same day there is a new moon this is going to be great for your your actual presence of being able to just get that sort of more wow factor and presence and focus on your image and um, how you want to present yourself. It's very much about work and getting organized as well. 
there can be some unexpected developments so you want to sort of be ready for them be ready to sort of change things around change your plans it's always good to have a plan it's good to have plan b too um, we do have uh, Venus and Jupiter, Jupiter in your sign, in an opposition on the 7th. So be careful that you're not more focused on how you want something to be rather than how it is. And this is around relationships. Two planets will go retrograde this month, Saturn on the 17th, Pluto on the 22nd. They're both in your area of creativity. When it's to do with work, you'll be able to to um, gives you time to reorganize, restructure, get it created, gives you time to focus on being more strategic in business when it's to do with love. It gives you a time to really get down deep to think, to find out how you really feel about what's going on in your life with relationships. Um, Venus is going to move into the next sign on the 24th for you. This is going to be good for investments, um, good for attracting money, also good for spending money. So keep that in mind. The Mars-Pluto conjunction on the 26th, be careful of being aggressive verbally. All right. So keep a lid on that. Think before you speak. And then we've got the full moon in your sign closing the month off on the 29th. So this is a huge time huge month for you and with the full moon in your sign it's like it's about closing things off that are no longer um you know serving you great time to have a huge clean out both physically and emotionally all right so i hope something fabulous happens for you this month for me i've been working on my websites my jenniferangel.com soul shop is progressing with new products go ahead and have a look jenniferangel.com i have a new website called via bling v-i-a bling if you've been watching me for a while you'll know my love of bling over the next two weeks i will be incorporating a new section on that site which will be more about metaphysical style bling okay so please go and check that out for me all right love and luck to you we'll see you next month bye for now